In this illustration, we'll analyze a case when sand spills from a cart. Here, we are given that a sand cart of mass m not moves on a horizontal smooth surface due to a constant force f, and at t equal to zero, cart starts from rest and through a hole in bottom sand spills at a constant rate r kilograms per second. And we are required to find the acceleration and velocity of cart as a function of time. Here. We can draw the situation for better clarity. If on ground there is a cart which is being pulled with a force F and it is having sand and at any time t its mass is taken as m and it is given that through the hole at its bottom sand is spilling down. At the rate of r kg per second, so at any time t, the mass of cart we can write as m not minus r t. Now, in this situation, a force f is applied on a body of mass m not minus r t. We can directly write the acceleration of cart at time t is a is equals to which can also be written as dv by dt, and that is equals to f divided by m not minus r t. Here, I have directly written the acceleration without considering the variation of mass because mass is leaking out at the same speed with which the cart is moving. Say, if it is moving at a speed v, the sand which is spilling out is also having the speed v. Or, if you wish. You can solve the problem in the similar manner which we have discussed in concept videos by using impulse momentum equation at time t and t plus dt on solving the equation. You'll get the same result. I wish all of you must verify the result by using the traditional method. So here, if we further solve it, we can write dv is equals to f by m not minus r t dt. And if we integrate this expression at t equals to zero, we know the speed of cart is zero. At time t, the speed increases to v. So this gives a v is equals to minus f by r ln of m not minus r t, on which we apply limits from zero to t. So this gives minus f by r. This ln of if we substitute the limit is m not minus r t minus ln of m not. So on further simplifying the value of v, we are getting we can take this negative sign in, and this gives us f by r ln of m not by m not minus r t. So the velocity of car as a function of time. This is an answer for this problem. And here is the answer for acceleration of the cart as a function of time.